have you ever wondered what a windmill looks like from the inside? Today we're Sharala Windmill, and so come with me so you can see what's inside. The 1724 Grandmaster Manuel Antonio de Villena built this windmill here on the ground named Shara Lolia, hence where it got the name Sharalla. As you can see, there's a coat of arms there in which during the French era, the French actually tried to destroy, to claim it, and they scratched it all around, unfortunately. Back in the day where the windmill was in use, here used to be a storage space in the first floor where there used to be wheat and grounded wheat so that the miller can then use upstairs in the actual machinery. Nowadays, it's used as a museum where you can learn all about the different parts of the windmill and also about the lovely history of the Sharala Let's go to the second floor. The second floor is where the miller experiment used to stay. It was built after the first floor, so it's a little bit different. In 1791, this floor was built. This floor used to be the home of the Miller's family. As you can see, it's much nicer, it's more refined. Downstairs was with arches here, it's, it's with the wooden beam. Even the walls are more refined. This used to be the kitchen. There used to like be the living room, kind of, but a living room with animals, dogs, everything. Although here is portraying to keep you and put you in the mood of what the kitchen used to look like. Actually, in this exact room is where the kitchen of the Miller's family used to be. In fact, the black stone over there is still black because it's actually where they used to put the fire so that they can cook. This is the only bed that there is in this room. There's only one bed. It's for the mother and father. The kids used to sleep on the floor. An interesting fact is there is these holes that they were built when they were building this windmill. It's used for storage. Since the walls are really thick, they can do such things. Wow, this is awesome here. This is like the main heart of the windmill. It's where we actually can see the machinery, what they used to, uh, what they used to use, and how it all works. Basically, it's all made out of wood, and these very, very, very big stones. They weigh so much, um, but it's actually how they used to grind the wheat um, with friction between one stone and the other and they actually used to grind the wheat and go down from here in this hole. It's actually amazing. The wing vein up there is connected to one on the outside in which it used to tell the miller in which direction the wind is blowing to. Something that impressed me a lot is that the wind turns 360 degrees. So, this is a fixed part and this turns on this. They use these chains for stoppers, but it's impressive. It turns 360 degrees on itself. A big shout out and thanks to the local council of Zuri. Albert Kakia and Julian Shikluna for opening up the windmill for us. This was a really nice experience. We would recommend to come here and visit and enjoy this wonderful windmill. There's so much history and the, the things that you learn from here are absolutely amazing. And it's the last windmill that can work in Malta. True. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.